Good morning and welcome to the video for fourth grade for Monday, April the 20th. Uh, today's lesson is going to be working with classifying uh, different shapes, specifically quadrilaterals, which are shapes that have four sides. So let's go ahead and take a look at the beginning of the lesson. And so a quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides and four angles. And then we can get more specific down here. So to start with, a trapezoid has to have at least one pair of parallel sides. A parallelogram has to have at least two pairs of parallel sides and two pairs of sides that have the same length. Now, all four sides could also be the same length, um, but we are going to have a different name for that. So that is going to be a rhombus. So a rhombus will always have two pairs of parallel sides and four sides that have equal length. A rectangle is going to have two pairs of parallel sides, two pairs of sides with equal length, and four right angles. And then a square is going to have two pairs of parallel sides, four sides with equal length, and four right angles. So for our first activity, we want to figure out <clears throat> excuse me, exactly what we are working with. So I've got uh, my red, orange, and blue. So I'm going to start with my orange. So we want to mark orange for shapes that have exactly one right angle. So this one would match this. Um, the next one I'm gonna do is blue. And I wanna look for my shape that has exactly two right angles. And I'm just gonna uh, put a little blue check mark here. And then red, we want a shape that has exactly four right angles, and that would be this one. And so, <clears throat> We have other quadrilateral shapes here, but we're just looking to see which one has one, two, or four right angles. So our one with four right angles should be either a rectangle or a square. Our one with uh, two right angles could be um, a parallelogram or possibly a rhombus in certain situations. Um, so on the share and show, we want to figure out how many different ways we can classify this first shape. So we're going to take a look. Let's see how many parallel sides we have. We are going to have two pairs of parallel sides. And we are going to see if all four of these are the same length. So actually, it does look like I have four sides that are equal length and I have zero right angles. So going back to my list of things, um, I don't have any right angles, so I'm not gonna have a rectangle or a square. Um, I have to have two pairs of parallel sides, and so that could be um, a rhombus or a parallelogram, but um, I have four sides of the same length. So that one is probably going to be a rhombus. Now, I could probably also say that it's a parallelogram, and I could say that it is a trapezoid because it has at least one pair of parallel sides. So I'm going to put a T for trapezoid, a P for parallelogram, and um, I'm going to put R for rhombus. Uh, number three. So if I zoom in a little bit, we've got four right angles. We've got four sides that are, um, I've got different lengths between these matching sides and these matching sides. So we don't have a square, but we definitely have a rectangle. Um, that means we also have a quadrilateral, we have a parallelogram, and we could also potentially say that we have a trapezoid. So <clears throat> um, we can go ahead and say that we have a quadrilateral, a trapezoid. Actually, we could probably say that we have every single thing here except for being a square. Um, because we meet all of those uh, requirements. 
Um, let's take a look at number five. I'm not going to take the time to write all of those in. So number five, we have a quadrilateral because we have a four-sided shape. A, we have a um, shape that has two matching sets of parallel sides. And it's possible that uh, these could be different lengths, and that's what these marks are showing. So uh, this side, these two sides are different from these two sides. So we could have a rhombus. Um, sorry, no, we can't. We, ha we would have a parallelogram. So we could have a trapezoid parallelogram, <clears throat> and uh, we would have a quadrilateral. So quadrilateral, trapezoid, parallelogram for this. For this one, we do not have um, four sides that are uh, matching length. We do have one pair of matching sides, and then we have something different. So we have a quadrilateral. We definitely have a trapezoid, but we don't meet the requirements for either parallelogram, rhombus, rectangle, or square. So that one should just be quadrilateral and trapezoid. Um, So that covers everything I wanted to talk about. I wanted to double check and make sure. So um, again, number seven is quadrilateral and trapezoid. And the number five would cover uh, these first three. So um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments. This is a little bit different uh, from the way I would normally do a video. Um, I'm not going to take the time to write everything in. So if you need to kind of go back, check your work. Uh, rewind the video um, or pause as you need to uh, to get the information. Uh, for the homework, you will be asked to kind of do the same kind of thing that we did um, during that. And so there will be more than one correct answer. You will need to apply as many different things as you can uh, from that first page to see how we could classify each shape. So um, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in Google Classroom and I'll be happy to help you. Hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.